Thank you, thank you. And now I give the initiative to you. It is very difficult to imagine that we have two organizations with totally different cultures. Uh, even if the same member states are within both organizations, they behave in a different manner in the same city of Brussels, but when they are under the hat of NATO representatives or ambassadors to NATO and representatives in the European Union. This is the first question. How the squares, how can you imagine, and I'm looking especially here to Francois and to, to Karel Kovanda. That means, can you imagine, knowing the inside uh, culture of, of, of the European Union, that European Union could become this kind of a partner of NATO in what NATO intends to do somewhere. Uh, and the second is, for looking from the European Union's point of view, is uh, I'm not sure that this is, would be in the interest of the European Union to be seen alongside NATO as an organization which actually intends to do harm to people. This is not this kind of organization. And actually, when I am in Moscow, I am surprised to what extent, and it relates to the discussion before, to what extent the Russians, even the liberal Russians, not the official DOM, recreated a notion of the West. For them, European Union, NATO doesn't matter, it's the same kind of, a, you know, Ugroza, the same kind of a, a threat somewhere, you know, unfriendly elements. So could you please, looking from, uh, from uh, Karel, you from the inside of the can you imagine this kind of a cooperation between NATO and European Union we are talking about? No. Yeah, Francois? I'd be happy to, uh, to, to, to respond. Uh, yes, of course, these organizations have different cultures, uh, but this is, uh, this is not what is holding back primarily uh, cooperation. What is holding it back are political and strategic issues. Turkey has been mentioned, uh, and the other one, of course, is the United Kingdom. Uh, the United Kingdom uh, has gone AWOL in terms of uh, ESDP uh, ever since the Iraq war began. Uh, there are hardly any British forces involved in any ESDP operation uh, since then. There are very occasionally you will find somebody at a command echelon, uh, uh, but uh, uh, Britain has, has, has become a very uh, marginal participant, and this is not going to change for the better if Mr. Cameron uh, becomes the next Prime Minister. Uh, indeed, uh, if we invite Turkey to join the EDA, as has been suggested, I would not be surprised if at the same time uh, a future Conservative government in London, in order to feed some uh, food to its rave, more raving Eurosceptics, would actually withdraw the United Kingdom from the EDA. Uh, and I say this not in a flippant manner. I think this is actually quite a real prospect. Uh, this is one of the few things which the British, uh, which the British Conservative government could do to express, uh, to placate the Euroscepticism of its, uh, uh, of its, of part of its electorate, without actually doing serious harm to anybody, because it would be a well-known fact if the EDA had actually accomplished anything uh, very uh, uh, singularly, uh, singularly important. And this, of course is a, another, one of, uh, one of, another one of the problems, and that is the SDP is an intergovernmental organization. I mean, it's an intergovernmental process, will remain so, and since for the foreseeable future defense policy will continue to be produced essentially in the capitals, you run, you run quite rapidly into limits. I am quite impressed by what ESDP has achieved ever since it was created some 11 years ago, uh, but I suspect that the ESDP in the next 11 years is going to look much more like what it is today than like what it was 10 or 11 uh, years ago. As for the being part of the West, well, yeah, yes, we are part of the West. Uh, uh, there will be circumstances in which it will be useful to have Berlin Plus. There will be circumstances in which it won't be useful. Uh, politically, it is a great strength to be able, and strategically, it's a great strength to be able to choose the flag under which one operates. When you look at one of the more successful ESDP operations, which was the 
prevention of genocide operation in Ituri province in the Congo in 2003. Well, sure, 80% of the soldiers were French. We could have done it as a French-flagged operation. But politically, it was much more effective to have it flagged under the European Union flag with a UN Security Council resolution. Uh, it was also at the time decided not to use Berlin Plus uh, uh, because having a, NATO, having a NATO dimension would not, in that case, have been useful. But this is, you know, this is this is a very contingent factor. It's nice to be able to pick and choose uh, in, in, in these matters. Yes. Uh Again, I'm, I am not sure whether the, the, whether the two cultures um, are actually one, the NATO culture, and the other, the EU culture. I think the two cultures are actually within the EU, and as Francois suggested, the ESDP is an intergovernmental inter uh, process, and consequently a culture that goes with that, um, whereas what we are, uh, whereas the Commission culture is the communitarian process, so-called. And what we are, what Lady Ashton's big and difficult job is to bring together within the European Union the intergovernmental and the communitarian. That's where the great—I don't want to say culture clash—but the but the culture blending will take place if if we manage to do that. Um, and if so, so I, and I don't think that. Should we manage to accomplish that um, in the fullness of time, I don't think that the difference of culture between what will then emerge on the, on the European side of Brussels will be so, so incompatible with uh, that of, of NATO. Um, I, 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 I'm, uh, Francois mentioned the UK having gone AWOL, and I wonder, uh, wonder whether the one success the, the one demonstrable success of cooperation between the EU and NATO in an ESD cooperation, which is Atalanta, was not conditioned, among other, precisely because the UK is headquartering the At Atalanta. Uh, oh well, but they've got the headquarters; they're involved. So, so maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong on that one. This is just a speculation. Um, right. I leave the second question. I have nothing to add.